Hi there, I'm Anubis, and today we're going to look at how to install the MT mod into co-op mod. This assumes that you've already installed the co-op mod. Um, if you haven't, I'm going to post a link in the description that will explain how to do that. First, you're going to want to install the co-op mod itself from Nexus Mods, and, and you're also going to want to install the UXM Unpacker. Uh, this one shows up as Elden Ring, uh, but this is used for Armored Core 6 as well. To access the location where it is installed, go to Steam and right click on Armored Core 6. Go down to Properties. On the left side, you have Installed Files. And then on the right at the top, you have Browse. This is where you have the regular Armored Core 6 executable and the co-op mod. Uh, here you can see that I have both installed, which is simply a matter of dragging those two items into this folder. Next, you're gonna want to go to the UXM Unpacker. Uh, you've got three files here. Um, you've got the executable itself, a readme, and a folder. In this folder that says res, we're going to add a dictionary. And this dictionary we have in the MT mod folder. Um, this dictionary is called Armored Core 6 Dictionary. You're just going to want to copy and paste it into the res folder in the UXM. What this does is it introduces the files for the Lammergeier, uh, and that's all we're really doing here. Once this has been completed, we're gonna go back to the UXM file, the exe, and we're going to run it. Once it is running, you're gonna to wanna to make sure that UXM is pointing at the Armored Core 6 executable, not the co-op, just the regular Armored Core 6. You can copy the location of where the file is located and bring it into the UXM to make sure you get to the location easier. Make sure you click the executable and we're going to select it. Now we're going to hit unpack, and this process may take a little while. While unpacking, you're going to see that many files and folders are going to start to become visible and available. This next step is very important. You're going to want to go to the Armored Core 6 folder and find the regulation bin. You wanna make sure that this file stays intact. To do that, we're gonna compress it into a zip file. You wanna make sure that this file does not get lost or damaged because this is what defines most of your Armored Core 6 game. As you can see, I have two zip files here, one being the standard regulation bin and one being an MT regulation, so I can easily go back and forth between the two. Once you've made a backup of your regulation bin, you're gonna to wanna to go back to the MT folder. In the MT mod folder, we're gonna move two things. We're gonna move the regulation bin and we're gonna overwrite the one that's currently there. Next, we're gonna bring the folder that is labeled parts from the MT mod folder. There is already a parts folder in the armored core folder, but as these are new parts, they're not going to replace the old ones. It's just gonna merge the two folders. Once this has completed, we're gonna go back to the UXM executable and we're gonna hit patch. This is going to apply all the changes to the game itself. Once this is finished, you're ready to go. You can launch the co-op mod and you should be able to play with your friends. As you can see, the game now has the MT parts installed. And if I go back to the main menu, you will see that I also have the ability to play co-op. When you've decided to finish playing the MT mod, we can restore the game back to its original settings. To do this, we're gonna go back to the UXM executable, and we're gonna to go to where it says restore. This is gonna get rid of all these folders that we have available, which is fine because we can always unpack them if we want to. Once this is completed, we're gonna to wanna to go back to that regulation file that we had unzipped. We're gonna to go to it and we're gonna extract the file into this same folder. What this does is it restores the game back to its original settings and gets rid of the MT mod settings. With that done, you should be able to go back to playing Armored Core 6 online with no issues. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions, please post them in the comments below.